Wow. It's Terrence Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity. We're going to talk about Richard Pena, Latino man in New Orleans, big drug dealer. If not the biggest, one of the biggest. Y'all, I received a letter from Richard Pena when we was incarcerated where he said, I was shocked he was writing me because his hitman was from the Cali and I was beefing with them. But Richard Pena has said, I'm reaching out to all the men who had a chance to get on my case and hurt me who didn't. He said, man, I respect how you was moving, this, this, this. So I was like, okay, I'm checking him out. Man told me in the letter, he said, when I made $30 million in a game, I was supposed to retire. This man said they found $5 million in a van. This is the same man. Go back and check the documentary of what Master P did when he talked about the Spanish boy who offered him a million dollars and all this and this. This is the same man I'm talking about, Rich Opinion. He's in the Fed right now, him and his family. He got a life sentence. He wrote me a letter. He pled guilty to eight murders. And he told me that if the Feds ever let him out, I mean, if he beat them eight murders, he had, they had 23 more waiting on him. Richard Pena was a man that if he found out you was getting weight, bricks like five or better, or two, three, whatever, he going to pull up or he going to have one of his people come to him and say, hey, get some work from me. Now, if you got a jumping spot and you're getting money and you don't get the work from him, it's going to be a problem. He going to let it be known. He going to have the police to pull up on you, handcuff you, and bring you to him. And get some understanding. Richard Pena was also a man that if he gave you work, and if he know you was a goofball, he did stuff like this. Throw a party. Everybody the party enjoying himself. Don't let him know where your stash at or where your little stash house. You can get somebody breaking that. When they're breaking that, you go to him, man, somebody hit my stash. You know what? He ain't tripping because get what? He going to front you some more dough, and now you owe me this. He going to keep you in debt with him. That's just how he used to roll. Vicious man, Latino man. From the, from, the, from, from the streets to the pen, this is how he always been. That was a little rhyme, huh? But anyway, the Latino... The, uh, not the Latin, the Latin Kings tried to extort him in, in the federal penitentiary. They told him, listen, you got a certain amount of time to get a hundred grand sent to us. Rich Pena told he wrote me Lisa Gangster. I was a gangster sitting here on the street. You think about let somebody extort me in prison? He run with the Latino couple by him being from New Orleans, all the homies still rock with him. Rich Pena contact all the homies in other in other uh dormitories, say, listen. Me and the homies in this block, we about to take off on these Latin King. When them deuces go off, when they mean the deuces, a button that they hit where the officers come and run to wherever the, the officer need assistance. They have 15, 20 officers break out running to this spot, one dormitory or whatever. When y'all see the deuces go off, y'all take off. And that's what they did. They went off. Rich Payne, them stabbing and fighting like the uh, Latin King. The homies in the other blocks, when them deuces went off, they already knew. Time to work. They went to work. Butchered, stabbing, going down. Attack the Latin Kings. Just about any compound Rich Pena go to, he don't want Latin Kings around him. Because he know, or he think that they might be trying to retaliate on him. And this happened years ago. To this day, Rich Pena, his brother, uh, uh, Guado, uh, Giant Pena, it's like, it's a few of them that have a life sentence. Plus 20 years for drugs and murder in the city of New Orleans. Y'all can look this stuff up. Let me tell you about his name, Richard Pena. He go, he, he was a big drug dealer in the city. He had a lot of, the thing I ain't, this is the only thing I ain't like about Rich Pena. If he had a hit out, it's going to be the Yo, Seven Ward, Magnolia, Melphamine, Ten Ward, who all worked for him, hit us, whatever. Gonna be at this one person. Reason how I know one night, Randall, Mosquito, Lester DuPlessis, and myself looking for this boy. He had 50 on the boy head. We riding. The OG Lester said, he said, nephew, if you ever want to find a man, no matter where he hiding out at, where he out of town, wherever going on, he gonna come see if his mother living, he gonna come see his mother. Said, yeah. We go around the guy's mother house. So we ride, if we come around the corner, we see a familiar car park. 
No, it wasn't a guy. It was somebody out there, yo, camped out. Sandwiches, drinks, laying low at the dude's mother house, trying to cash in on them 50. I'm talking about that was, that was lurking. Everywhere you look, whenever there was a he put some money on your head, it's too many killers after you. Not going, you got to get out of town because they coming. They ain't had no cut cards. They coming, man. No, that's the only thing I didn't like because it's like, bro, if you need some money bad, quick, score right quick, you got to hurry up and try to get to the bag because if you don't, somebody else going to get it. They're going to they cash in on you, you know? And that's just how he rolled. He, he, had, he, he had it all together until he had the police to pull over. Uh, what's this boy there? Richard Curtis. All this is documented. Public records, y'all. They found Richard Curtis' body in Mississippi. I hear some rumors with the, in the grave with the fingers, the hand, fingers still sticking out of the grave, all that goose stuff. I don't know, know, know about all that. I know when they found the body, the police that was on the case, David Singleton cooperated. He had the guy handcuffed when they found the body in Mississippi buried. They still had the police handcuffs on them with the DS with the police signature on the handcuffs. That's how they knew that the police wasn't lying and the police got eight years for that. The police pulled the guy over in his Lexus. The man had a Lexus. He had a bar, or he had a, uh, a game right across the street from the Magnolia Project. They pulled this man over one night, handcuffed him. You found dead in Mississippi, buried. When they got the police officer that was on the case with Rich and them, he told him everything. Found the body. And he got eight years for that. Can you imagine that? Eight years for turning for pulling somebody over, turning them over to the op, how you all say the op. Admitting he turned this man over to these people. He got eight years for cooperating. And this is no cap. Public records, look it up. Well, Getting kind of late, y'all. Getting old now. Time me to lay it on down. I got to lay it on down. got to get my rest, man. Once again, say no to drugs. Stop the violence. Let's have some fun, man. Enjoy the stories, baby. I got more coming. I'm about to hit state to state to state. I'm about to keep this thing rolling. But I want you all to leave it here. Stories. Entertainment. I'm out. Wow.